hello viewers welcome to the new sewing hub in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to like fix the waist of your trouser same thing that you are seeing in this video right now if you're a new viewer you are highly welcome please click the subscribe button that you are seeing on your screen and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post any video you'll be notified and if you also a returning viewer you're also welcomed please click the like button and also um comment in the comment section so that other people can also see it so stay tuned in this video i'm going to like teach you guys a lot in this video this is actually the one where out pocket trouser in this video i'm going to like show you guys how to mark the exact point where you are to fix your where to fix your belt holder so guys here with me um actually here is my already gummed waist um actually i used actually um a paper stick and here i'm with my waistband and here is also an external piece where i'm going to like use for my belt with them um also and here is also my chalk and my scissors and also my toner where this one I'm going to make use of it to turn my belt holders that I have already sewn. So watch closely, guys. I'm also going to sew at the wrong side so that when I'm turning it to be at the right side of the fabric. Just watch, guys. Now I'm sewing at the wrong side of it. I've already just watch closely, guys, because in this particular video I'm not going to add. I'm not going to add the crossover to it because if you can't actually sew this one now you won't be able to get the crossover that was like the waist side of it so i've already started it and i'm actually sewing for waist 34 so that's why i'm going to be making use of m6 belt i just watch closely like this and now i'm going to turn it to the other side i'm going to lock this stitch also so that it will be easy for me to turn it out now i'm cutting it out i'm cutting it close to the tree that i've already sewn and i'm done with it now see how i'm going to turn it out I'm starting from the place that I've already like I've locked the stitch actually so I'm going to turn it out and you see if this is actually your first time of sewing this type of waist um, I make sure that you iron your belt with that so that when you are sewing when you are fixing it to the trouser it will look very neat do my I didn't iron it because it's always neat. Now see the result that I've gotten so far. I'm going to cut it out and the measurement now that I'm going to be using to cut the I'm going to cut the belt holder. It's actually four inches. So I'm going to make it four. If you are sewing for okay actually I told you guys I'm sewing for waist 34 actually so um west 34 is actually in this belt too that's why for west 40 and above you can use them um, either for i mean it's belt to that's just pay a close attention to this video because you actually any part that you actually miss in this video trust me guy you won't um, be able to get it again now for the belt to the marking see how i'm going to mark it from the uh pocket this thing at the end the this thing, top of the pocket there i'm going to mark four inches i'm also going to re repeat the same process at the other side of the pocket it's actually four inches that i marked now let me also repeat the process at the other end it's actually four inches now see what how i'm going to mark the back side of the trouser at the center of the trouser actually from the back I mark two inches. Then this other side, I also mark two inches. Now from the joining, 
at the front pocket and the back one side of the back this thing see i'm going to mark out one inches i'm marking one inches i also do the same thing to this side so that when you iron your trouser it looks so neat like the your belt that will look so well arranged so watch closely guys now i'm about to start my sewing Just pay close attention to this video because you have a lot to learn. Also remember to click the subscribe button. Now see exactly how I placed it. My waist, my waist that I've already gone, I see how I placed it. It's a bit um, more than that of the flap there. Like um, if you are uh, actually to place it, make sure that you mark out one inches before, okay? Oh, but if you are that good, make sure uh, you make use of half inch. Just um, push it a bit so that when because you still fold it in. I've already started. Have you seen the edge? We are this thing, the trouser is, and I also give a little gap there. Watch closely, guys. How I'm going to do it. Hey, we have actually reached where I marked for my first belt order. Hey, see, I'm going to place this my belt order. Hey, this side now that has the joining, hey, it will be facing upwards. It will be facing upwards. Just watch closely how I'm going to place it. To be facing upwards now i also sew it make sure that it's straight though i will speed the same process around all the pieces that i've actually marked now just watch close vienna i've passed my front pocket just watch close at this joining now if you if you haven't um, actually ironed like to do, don't open pressing on trouser Make sure that you always open it so that when you are ironing your trouser, it will be very very good. It will be nice. Have you seen I opened mine? Now I've taken my second belt with that. See how I also placed it. The place that has the joining is facing upwards. Uh, I've also placed it on that same spot that I marked. I'm going to repeat the same process on all of them, all of the waist. Now, see at the other side of the distance, I have already passed my distance. See this place now. Eh? It's very very critical just watch crazy what i'm going to do i've already zipped my trouser just make sure that you zip it okay now at this place now where your first like where the zip stop now have you seen where you stop you also mark it so that this same side and the other side will be equal so that one won't be uh, a bit higher than the other just make sure that it's equal always lock your zip when you're done i've already done my stitching just i'm going to cut this um left over now this place that popped out i'm going to cut it off i also cut the other side of it i've cut it off i'm also going to cut the other side just watch closely i'm going to do it i also cut it off Now see the next step that we are going to take now. Have you seen that place that I moved a bit further? We are going to bend it inside. We are going to bend it. Have you seen it? I pushed it downwards. I pushed it downward. Then I'm going to run it three there. I'll run it three there to the end. I'll run it three there. it out uh -huh. 
at this flap side now at this flap side i'm going to be folding it with that same flap measurement have you seen it just watch closely i'm going to do it i will, resp- I will play, explain it have you seen it at this same spot now i'll be folding it from there i'll be folding it from there okay i'll be folding it from there because if i fold a piece that is not there it won't actually give me uh, the exact twist and also just watch closely here yeah, it's very very important too, because if you make a mistake and uh, trust me uh, you've already um, spoiled your work this place uh, that you have done now uh, it will also be the same measurement with that of the down this thing, the down part of it because i've turned it sorry guys i'm not making use of any touch light or any lantern just watch closely have you seen it it's also equal and this same side is also equal and make sure that when you are sewing anything you know, it doesn't touch your paper stay both the front and the back it doesn't touch it So, so you guys what I've done so far. I'm going to cut to so I'm going to cut guys just cut out the this thing remember I did start from the end the place that I folded I give I give like um, half of an inch or if you can also give three quarter of an inch and it's also good but make sure that you left something there and this place now I'm going to be adding my press band to there I'm going to add in it from there but before I do that, see, I'm going to teach you guys how to stitch the belt to the course. Actually, this um, giving space now is not um, is not that uh, same size with that of um, a belt. Cause sometimes some belt are a bit bigger. Okay, I'm stitching half of an inch to the trouser, to the main trouser. Okay, I'm stitching at the top of the belt. So now. It's actually half of an inch. And make sure that before you stitch uh, your belt that is straight. So it be the same process on all of my belt to that okay just watch closely i'm not going to like do all of it but to that. just watch closely i also repeat the same process on the third one for one i'm already done stitching my belt to that then now i'm going to cut out the threads that are holding it from relax i'm going to cut out the threads both from both the front thread and also the back thread. Now I'm done cutting out the thread. Now it's now time for me to add my belt to that to it. Ah, <laughs> so it's not my belt to that my waistband actually. Now I started from that place that I left like three quarter of an inch. I also left I left actually three quarter of an inch although I didn't measure it, but it's three quarter of an inch. I also leave gap water so you leave a little space not up to half of an inch okay just um just any possible space there. but make sure that there is a space there okay before you start your sewing now this same thing now that I have I'm going to now fold my belt hold, okay I will now push it a bit backwards so that when I'm done sewing if I push my waistband inwards 
problem. I'll push it backwards. Have you seen what I did there? This actually meant why I push it a bit just small. Push it a bit small. Okay. Let me start my sewing. Going to do the same thing here, okay? Just watch, please use attention to this. Because any part that you have actually missed, um, you have already missed it, okay? Just pay close attention. Please also click the subscribe button on my channel, okay? It's actually a way of like telling me thank you for the video, for the video or explanation that you have already done for us. Okay, at this end, I'm also going to like. So to, I'm going to repeat the same process on all the Beltudas and also see at this other end of the trouser. I didn't actually stop where the trouser stopped, I gave like a uh, 12 an inch. But if you only use one of an inch, this one inch is also okay, but mine was two. Now make sure that all the three that's is in your crew make sure that you cut all of them out because it also helps in making work to spin it now this side now i'm going to like turn it out i'm going to turn it out just see the way i'm doing it okay i turned it out in this trousers i'm not going to be putting hook in it okay i'm going to be making use of my button <laughs> i'll make use make use of any piece and push it out so that it's be one thing have you seen that place that I told the guy that to be in what? It won't be showing. That's where that's the what I use. It will be inside. It won't be showing. I'll stand my soul. But before I proceed, I just see what I'm going to explain to you guys. Make sure now that your trouser is always <laughs> not this way. Don't do this. Make sure that it's always this way. Okay? Not make sure that it laps to the waist. And if you actually get it, it will be cool for you to sew to start your sewing. Also make sure that you stitch your trouser like any way that you are starting to so make sure that you stitch so that it won't um it won't stop be done time or whenever you are playing we are stitching make sure that you only stitch I push the big front and also push it big backwards have you seen I've also repeated the same process here again so that it will make my work to be neat when you are seeing make sure that you can arrange your work also side of it i have stopped let me come back cut out my thread yeah it's very 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 important if you actually need this day it's well <laughs> trust me guys you have actually made a big mistake now see <laughs> at this place now as uh, where my uh, flap stopped my other flap that is um, bearing my seat i'm going to mark the back have you seen it this place now i'm going to like mark the back side of it I'm going to chuck it in my chalk. I'm using it up there. Now I'm going to like fold it this way. I'm using it. I'll fold it. Now I'll sew from the other side, from this side. Now. I'll sew from this so that I'll see the chalk that I've already marked. 
so from that end so from this side now see guys i have already done it Just make sure that your paper stays at the end, okay? Make sure that there is no fabric left over at the top of it. Make sure that is your paper stay. Now, make sure that your sewing is straight, and also make sure that you start that um, place that you mark. That's where your flap destiny is. I started sewing from that chalk destiny. I make sure that your sewing is straight, because here determines whether. Mm, yeah, I've actually learned how to make a straight sewing. Now, I'll show you guys the result that I've gotten so far. Um, you then cut out the leftover now. Make sure that you give a little gap from where your thread is so that the time it won't lose it. I'll also turn it out. Then I also make use of this and my turn and to push it out to give me that perfect work that I'm actually looking for. Now here is actually the have you seen it? That's why I told you guys earlier to make sure that you straighten your distance so that it's going to here now. That's where I'll place my bottom. Now, the, all these three that are the waist, make sure that you cut them out as where you jumped your belt to them. Make sure that you cut them out because it also helps. Now, this is the result that you have gotten so far. This is our waist. This is the past. Okay, here is the front side of it. This is how the inside looks like. This is how the way inside. See that gap that I told you guys it has already relaxed by itself without any ironing. Now this is the work that you have gotten so far. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also like the button, comment, okay? Comment okay. Anywhere that you didn't understand, make sure that you drop it in the comment section. And anywhere that you also find it difficult in sewing boot because I sew in is excluded, okay? Bye guys, see you guys later.